I am installing a timing belt on my Mazda Speed Miata engine. And what I've done is I have counted every single tooth to eliminate any possibility that the timing belt will be off by a tooth. And I've counted the number of teeth on the sprockets and stuff. And I'm just gonna show you how I did that in this video. The next thing I did is I lined up the timing marks on the cam gears with the raised areas that are underneath the E and the I. So there is how they're lined up. And then I installed my Flying Miata tool to help in alignment. But that's what it looks like. There are 19 teeth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 teeth in between the timing marks like right here. And this timing mark is barely, barely visible. And I put like a little white dot like right here to show where it is. Here, I've put a mark for the cams, and there are exactly 19 teeth in between those marks. And then on the side from this mark going all the way down to the bottom, from here, there are from here to here, there are 63 teeth. So, what I did is from from this mark right here, that first white mark or white tooth, that's number one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next one is ten. So I marked it every ten. So that's so that's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And then you have one, two, and three. And then it's the same thing over here on this side. I've, I've marked the other side. And if you count from here down to here, that's 10. And then you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then you have one, two, three. And then in between, I put like a white mark on the belt right there. And then this is where this fits. It's going to be hard to show it to you on the engine because it's going to be down really low when I put the belt on. But all I'm doing is lining up that right there, the U, with that mark on the bottom. And that's the first thing that I do when I go to put the timing belt on. I noticed that there was the least amount of tension on the belts on both sides whenever the arrow lined up with the right side of the top dead center mark. I lined up the top dead center mark or rotated the pulley by installing this and this and then just rotating this by hand. Okay, before you put the timing belt on, what you want to do is you want to move this out of the way so it's easier to put the timing belt on over it. Like that. So here I go. I'm going to slip the timing belt on right here. I'm going to line my little mark up on the bottom with the U. And I've pre counted everything so it makes it a lot easier. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just put the timing belt on, just partly on down here. You know, don't put it all the way on.
and I'm pulling these teeth tight over here and then the next thing I'm going to do is pull this in line this mark up with the mark on the intake cam and I'm just barely putting the belt on like that. I'm not pushing it all the way on all at once. I'm just putting it on just a little bit at a time. And then uh, there's like some slack right here because I have this turn just slightly this way and I have these teeth turn like a half of a turn this way so that there is slack on this part of the belt. Right now it's a little bit chilly outside so I'm kind of shivering a little bit but all I'm doing is working this thing on and it is putting it on like really really slow. that and that's pretty much it so there we go I got that installed and I just put it on like really really slowly and there's there's play in the belt so it made it go on like a lot easier but that's how I got it all lined up right now Okay, now that I have the timing belt installed, I just put it on. The next thing I want to do is release this and let tension onto the timing belt from the tensioner pulley. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the pulley boss on right here. And then put the bolts on, and all I have to do is turn the top dead center mark one full rotation, and then another five sixths. So It's about a half of a rotation. That's three quarters. And that's one full rotation right there. Now I have to go five, six. And I'm gonna line up the top dead center mark with this little mark right here. So I'll watch it come around on the other side here. And here it comes around. And I will line it up right there. And now that I have it lined up, it is, it is 28 to 37 foot pounds. And there we go. Okay, I'm about to install my crankshaft bolt right here. And it requires 122 foot pounds of torque. And I got my Flying Miata tool installed. And what it does is it puts pressure on the water pump neck right there. So that's what stops it from rotating and I'm going to zoom out here and tighten this bolt to 122 foot pounds but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have gravity work with me so I'm going to push down towards the ground that way and then there's a place I'm going to put my foot right here and back here where the lift the engine lift point is, I'm going to put my knee there 
And then I'm gonna grab the other side of the engine and I'm gonna be pulling it towards me this way. So here we go. And there we go, 122 foot-pounds of torque. 